No, don't move those. Oh, sorry. Um, I've got to take them with me. Are you glad to be getting back to college? Yes. In the circumstances. Oh, I really envy you. I had such a good time on my course. So good, I'm surprised I did any work at all. <laughs> well, it's obviously very different from my course. I'm bogged down in work. It's all I ever do. When are you off, then? Oh, no, I mean, are you stopping for lunch? No. All right. I'll, uh, go and say goodbye to Chris, and then I'll head straight off to Edinburgh. I've had enough of family life to last me for a while. They do make a lovely couple, don't they? Yes, lovely. I don't know why you couldn't tell me the truth. It was five years ago. I didn't think it would come out like this. It doesn't matter how it's come out. The point is we were lovers five years ago. In love. Telling each other everything. Or so I thought. It was private. Between me and Jean. I know. But what about Chris? He thinks I was there behind you, egging you on. He was wrong. I gave my wife an overdose because she asked me to. Because she was in such agony. She'd been dead in a few days anyway. I loved her. And I will not be made to feel like a murderer. No, nor will I. I'm going to go and see him. Get it sorted out. If Chris thinks I'm some sort of gold digger, he can tell me to my face. I'm going to go down the yard now, and I think you should come too. You're joking. I've got work to do. I'm going to see over the Feldman's place, and I'm damned if I'm going to let any of this interfere. Could you just hold the line a minute, please? I'll see if he's in. Are you in? Elsa, how many more times have I got to tell you? It all depends who it is. Someone called Gordon Wyatt wants to talk to you about the hump ball. Yes, yes of course I'm in. Tell him you're putting him through. Oh, yes. I'm putting you through. Hello, Gordon. Uh, what, what can I do for you? Good Lord. How unfortunate. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm in shocking, yes. Oh, I see. Well, well, well yes, I'll, I'll do what I can. Yeah, all right. OK, well, well leave, leave it with me. I'll, I'll get back to you. All right. Goodbye. What is it, Mr. Turner? It's Lord Luscombe, the master of the hunt. He's had a heart attack, dropped down dead. Oh, how awful. Yeah, it certainly is. He's meant to be hosting the hunt ball. Now they've asked me to ask Frank Tate. I ask you, the hunt ball hosted by an idiot with green tendencies. Hang on a minute. Dolly? Dolly, turn that thing off, will you? Turn that damn thing off, will you? Thank you. Sorry about that. Can't let yourself think around here. Yeah, I'm on my way out. What can I do for you? George Stuck? You know, I damn well can't give him a reference. He can drive. I'm not denying that. He's a troublemaker, and I wouldn't touch him with a barge pole. What's up? Nothing wrong with him, is there? Not as far as the eye can see, no. What does that mean? Steroids. Joe injected them in the summer. You can feel a pellet in that one's neck. What? Didn't he tell you? No, I don't approve of it. He knows that. No, well, you're not the only one. Jack, it's illegal. Yeah, I know. So does Joe. Tate. This is my son, Michael. I'll do. I don't. I thought it was about time we got to know each other. 
I expect you'd like to see the farm. I would. And I'd like to have a bit of a chat afterwards about the future of the farm. So this other herd haven't been injected? No, just these ones. But what happens if we're caught? We? It's nothing to do with you and me. This is Joe's little private scheme. But we're all involved, Jack. I've been looking after them. You've been... You knew about it. Why didn't you try and stop him? We've always been poles apart, me and Joe. You know that. Why should I interfere? I thought Emmerdale was behind me for good. Besides, I had Jackie on my mind. Nothing else seemed to matter much. This lot don't look any different to the ones that have been treated. It makes you wonder why he bothered. Well, there's not many could tell by just looking at them. But what if somebody does? What then? I don't know. It won't exactly be a laughing matter. Yeah, I really think you're enjoying all this, Jack. Who, me? Yes, you. No, I don't think so, Kath. Mind you, can't wait to see how Joe's going to wriggle out of this one. What do you use this for? Uh, storage. Not much in there. Well, it, it varies with the time of year, doesn't it? Sometimes the sheds are in use, sometimes they're not. No offence, lad. I'm only asking. Is that you got a lot of barn space for 100 acres? It was a lot bigger back along. We've only got a few sheep and half a dozen cows now. Not an easy living, eh? It's enough. I've no plans to move on. Strikes me there's a lot of potential to this place. Can do with a lick of paint, though. <laughs> Take more than a lick of paint to set this farm to rights. It could do with basic renovation. That's precisely what I got in mind, Mrs. Feldman. I'm not averse to spending a bob or two. I can see a good return. What have you got in mind? A show farm from the tourist trade. I think your place would be ideal. What do you say about that? Not a lot. You wouldn't be out of a living. I'd need a place working. I never say no to a sensible notion. Then think on. Oh, uh, you won't mind me reminding you, but uh, you're overdue with the rent. Two months now. As much as that, is it? Time does go on, doesn't it? So I can expect settlement shortly, then, can I? Within the week, Mr. Tate. Excellent. Show farm? Who does he think we are? He wants the rent. You best get one of the milkers ready for market on Friday. I feel a bit sorry for her, really. You must be joking. Secretary to boss's wife in one easy bound. My heart bleeds for her. She loves him. Anyone can see that. So would you if someone bought you a mansion and a stud farm? You can't buy people like that. Don't you believe it? She didn't help him or anything. She, she didn't know what Dad did. She was there, wasn't she? Sleeping with him while Mum was dying. God, it makes me sick to think of them. Yes! Oh. oh good morning to you, too. I didn't know you were here, Zoe. Yes. Life's full of surprises, Kim. So, where's Dad? Hiding back at home farm? Sent you to plead his case, has he? Chris, stop it, will you? Look, I just want to clear the air. It's time we got a few things straight. You don't understand. Of course I don't understand. I find out my father's murdered my mother at the same time he was knocking you off, and I'm supposed to take it on the chin? That's not what Why didn't he tell us when Mum died what had happened? Because you were too young. He was afraid you'd react badly. I can see why now. I don't want to talk about it, especially not with you. If Dad's got anything to say, he should say it himself. I expect he will next time you grace Home Farm with your presence. Why don't you come up tonight? Give him a chance. Doesn't it matter to you what you're doing to your father? It's what Dad did to Mum that matters. He doesn't have to face them. I do. 
whispering about me, laughing behind my back. Oh, I see. So it's your position you're worried about. Not your dad, or your mother, or me. That's where you're wrong. I know exactly your position. Now you've got what you want. You don't want anyone in your way. So what's next? You're going to poison us as well? I wouldn't have a cup of tea with her, Zoe. Never know what the old witch has put in it. What are you doing here? Come see Mr Tate. Are you wasting your time? I certainly am. You all right? Oh, what do you think? I'm sorry. Oh, sure. Your husband's blacked me. I can't get work anywhere. Well, are you surprised? Will you have a word with him, your husband, please? What? I know I've not done right. All I want is my job back. Go, I'd have a word with him. You must be mad. Why should I speak up for you? Look, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean all this to happen. Oh, no. Please talk to him. I'll tell everyone I made it up if we get my job back. All right. So long as that's an end to the matter. You can't let Joe go ahead, Jack. You can't take those calves to market. Don't worry. I'll make sure he doesn't. I don't know how you're going to stop him. Yeah, well, that's a challenge I'll look forward to. Ta-da! <laughs> well, well, talk of the devil. All right, as soon as he backs turned, eh? Oh, don't we get a welcome, then? Welcome back. Oh, <laughs> you really Thank you. Me. Joe. Yeah, you look fantastic and all, Joe. How do you do it? Steroids? I've always known you've got a weird sense of humour, but sometimes I wonder if you're right in the head. Just what I was thinking about you, Joe. Now, come on, you two. Don't start. Mm. How are the kids? Have they been behaving? Oh, Please they're up. fine. Behaving themselves yeah. beautifully. Yeah, Good. Just take Going to school every day, doing their homework, seeing their dad. Really? He, uh, he doesn't know, does he? About the baby? No, not a thing. They're just seeing him. Nothing to worry about, Kate. He's not kidnapping them or anything. He's just taking them to lunch. Late. Yeah, well, don't you say anything when he gets here. Well, of course I won't. Oh, here he is. Hi, Dad. Sorry, kids. Couldn't get away from Turner. <laughs> I thought you were coming. Well, I'd never let you down like that. Well, anyway, I'm here now, so come on, let's go and eat. Look, hang on, we've got 40 minutes. Well, come on, then, let's move it. Well, tell me, then, what's the news? <laughs> My usual Henry, please. Uh, 288, please, sir. I really need it today. Oh, uh, and an orange juice from the secretary. Well, thanks, Mr. Turner. Problems, Alan? Problems? Disasters. They've asked me to find a new venue for the Hunt Ball. I'm at my wit's end, really. It's usually at the Luscombe's place, isn't it? Well, usually, yes. Damn the man. Yeah, I heard he's passed on. Well, it really is most inconvenient. And now they're asking me to ask Frank Tate to hold it at home farm. Sounds like a good idea to me. There is a large room, empty there, isn't there? Big enough for dancing. But Frank Tate, Henry. I mean, the man's a philistine. He doesn't hunt, he doesn't shoot. And would you want to go and have dinner there, let alone go to a hunt ball? I don't know, Alan. If the food was good. To be honest, Mr Turner, I don't see what else you can do. You shouldn't have agreed to ask him in the first place. Thank you for those words of wisdom, Elsa. I'll bear that in mind when your training comes up for review. Oh, the lass is right, Alan. If you said you'll deliver the goods... Yes, I suppose so. Well, with any luck, people will think he's a waiter. <laughs> I told you you should have booked somewhere, Dad. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It doesn't matter. It's a nice day. Is it? It's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this looks all right. Should have taken you back to my place. Cooked you something there. We wouldn't have had time, Dad. Oh, I could have repaired something this morning. You know you're welcome around there any time. I mean, that's why I gave you keys. I have a decent lunch every day. Well, I want to go every day. I mean, I'm busy. I've, I've got people to see. Yeah, but it's daft, isn't it, eh? I've got this flat and hot and five minutes from your school and you never see it. You could pop in and out whenever you wanted to. 
In fact, it seems crazy to me, you're living out on that farm miles from anywhere. I mean, I know Otten isn't the most exciting place in the world, but it's got to be livelier than Emmerdale. But we're kind of used to it up there now, Dad. Well, there's so many people up there. And that Sugden clan seems to increase by the minute. <laughs> Do you ever get any peace and quiet? I think you should both get out of there. Come and live with me in Hotton. Everything as you'd expected. Hi, looks okay. How's the beef herd doing? Doing nicely, thanks. Not that we should be surprised. I mean, anything pumped full of steroids. Have you got something to say, Jack? Say it. What are you going to do with those calves? Sell them, of course. Just like that? No qualms, no conscience, no thought for the consequences. Look, Jack, I just come back off my holidays. I'm happy, I'm relaxed, I've got no problems. Yo, you will have if you get caught. You know, as well as I do, hundreds of farmers use steroids and they never get found out. Oh, that's rubbish and you know it. Anyway, I don't care what other farmers do. It's what happens here at Emmerdale that concerns me. And if you get caught, we'll lose the herd, we'll have a fine to pay and we'll lose credibility at the market. It's not worth taking the chance. Jack, I'm not having this conversation with you. I'm taking my calves to market at the end of this week. And nothing you can do can stop me. You should have come with me to the Feldman's farm. It's perfect. Falling apart before my eyes. In a couple of years, it'll be a showpiece. Are you listening to me? No, I'm not really. Oh, thanks very much. Do you really want my opinion, Frank? Of course I do. What do you think I'm doing? Exercising my voice? I'm not interested in the Feldmans. Not now. Kim, all that happened was that some silly young kid shot his mouth off about something that doesn't concern him. It'll all blow over, all right? What is it, Tommy? Uh, Alan Turner's here to see you. I've put him in the sitting room. Right. We'd better get in there before he starts stealing the silver. Come on, Kim. I could do with a bit of light relief. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm I just, just walking off my lunch. Uh, is this urgent? We've got rather a lot on at present. Well, yes, it is, as a matter of fact. It, it concerns the hunt, actually. The hunt? Oh, yes. Well, you've come to the right place, right. haven't you? No, no, I, I'm, I'm not asking you to join the hunt, Mr. Tate. You've made your feelings on that score very plain. It, it's just that a, there's an opportunity has arisen for a social event, the, the, the most important social event in the local calendar, as a matter of fact. And I just thought that your, your wife, at least, might be interested. The, 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 the hunt ball? You mean we're invited? Not, not only invited, but, but invited to host it here at Home Farm. You want us to hold the hunt ball? It'd be a great honour, so you'd have some very distinguished guests. <laughs> I don't believe this. I don't hunt, I don't shoot, and I don't drink. And the last thing I want is the Yorkshire gentry doing a knees up in the parlour and getting drunk in my living room. Yes, I, I rather expected that sort of reaction from you, Mr. Tate, but I thought your wife, anyway, might take a more sympathetic view. Hmm. Well, now, Mrs. Tate, as a dedicated horsewoman, a professional, how would you feel about meeting the cream of the local riding society under your own roof? I do assure you that anyone who is anybody will attend the hunt ball. Yes, I think it's a terrific idea. Uh, perhaps you'll stop and have a coffee, Mr. Turner. We can talk it over. <laughs> That's what I like to see. A woman taking things seriously. I'm sorry. We'll get into practice when our baby arrives. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what's the matter with me, really. Shouldn't you be taking things easy in the afternoons? No, it's early days yet. You don't go overdoing things, though, though. Oh, don't worry. I always feel wonderful when I'm pregnant. Oh, well, fine. But I'm new to this game, remember? <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. oh, hello! Oh, hello. Oh, fantastic! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, we had a grand time, didn't Can we, Joe? Stand up, does it show yet? Oh, all right. <laughs> Go on. Uh, well, I don't think it does much. I'm just getting fat all over. Oh, no, you're yeah, not. <laughs> hey, Mark, come yeah, here. Do you want to get a kiss? Come on. Oh, right. We had a good yeah. time. Sure. Oh. Sure. Mm. Oh, I have missed you both. We've had a smashing time, but 
It's grand to be a bat, isn't oh, it? God. And has everything been all right? Yeah, and he's kept us in order. Yeah, it certainly has. <laughs> no dramas? No. No? And your dad's been all right, has he? Yeah, he's fine. Great, you know what he's like. <laughs> right, now, cup of tea, eh? Good idea. <laughs> of Turner's proposal from my point of view? Of course I have. Then you'll know how useful it can be to me, for the business. I mean, think of all the contacts I'll get in one fell swoop. And all the hunt and half the county as well. You can make a good living without that pomp, Celo. All right, have you thought of it from your own point of view? Nope. I can just see you now, chatting up the Lord Lieutenant of the county, asking him to a private viewing of your new show farm. What show farm? the Feldmans. Isn't that what you're planning? Maybe, maybe not. But I'm not having the hunt ball at home farm, Kim. However much you try to persuade me. And of course, the Tates are very keen to hold a ball, but I do have my reservations. Oh, really? The home farm itself is ideal, but, but Frank Tate is not my idea of a congenial host. Mm. Only I was still living there. Be the perfect choice then, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Fine. Think Christopher will turn up for supper? No chance. You don't want to worry about him, Bluff. He'll get over it in a day or two. How do you know? How do you know he's not out there now doing something stupid? Like what? I don't know, knocking hell out of George, perhaps. I hope he is. He deserves everything he gets, that little tyke. George is only after justice in his dim witted sort of way. Maybe if he got his job back. You he'd what? Be like there's right on his side, Frank. I know he went too far, but it's only because Christopher sacked him. You don't right wrongs with blackmail. He hurt me, he hurt my family, and I'm not backing down now. Don't waste your time pitying people like that, love. It's not worth it. Yeah, I know. Look, I'll take this out. You've left the casserole out. Well, have I got my job oh, back? Oh, God. What do you think you're doing? I need that job. Have I got it back? No. I tried, but he won't listen to me. I'm sorry, George. Oh, well, I might have known it. He's put the boot in with another of regulars this morning. I reckon he's helping me blood good and proper. I don't know why I thought you could change his mind for him. Look, I can help you out. Let you have a bit of cash if you want, till you settle. That's not what I want. I don't want charity. Come on, kid. You know how I did this. You went so well off yourself, were you? Go on, try again, will you? Oh, sorry. I know you can't stand to be touched by anyone so low. Not like the old days. Don't be so stupid. I've not finished with you yet, Lady Muck.